first place Sandow Trophy, the Olympia Gold Medal, and the title of 2021 Mr. Olympia to our winner. What's up, bodybuilders? Mr. Olympia is just around the corner, about a month away. And now, people have their eyes on their bets for this year's competition. The 2022 Texas Pro Finals just wrapped up, and Andrew jacked his pro debut in Texas in a very impressive fashion. To most people watching the prejudging, it appeared quite clear-cut that Andrew jacked was the winner since he stood out the most. He makes a perfect candidate for the Mr. Olympia. That's why in today's video, we'll cover more on Andrew Jack and who he'll be going up against in the Mr. Olympia competition. The bodybuilding competition circuit is where Chinedu Andrew Obeaka, also known as Andrew Jack, has only recently made an appearance. Jack is still seen as a rising star. Despite taking first place in his first two IFBB Pro League competitions, the 2022 Texas Pro and the 2022 Arnold Classic UK, the athlete will attempt to win one of the sport's most difficult challenges this December with the support of a great bodybuilder. Andrew just finished his professional debut in Texas in the 2022 Texas Pro Finals and did so in a very remarkable way. The majority of those who watched the prejudging thought that it was rather obvious that Andrew Jacked was the winner because he stood out the most. According to most viewers' preconceived notions, I believe it was quite obvious that Andrew Jacked was the winner since he truly stepped out and stood out the most. The best comment, in my opinion, was one that read, It almost looked like you're watching the lineup and Andrew Jack, his physique was filmed in 4K and everybody else was filmed in like 480p. That's how much his physique stood out in this lineup. The fullness that he had, the detail, your eyes were just drawn to him the whole time, more than anyone else. Which describes how Andrew Jack's physique stood out in this lineup in comparison to everyone else's. In addition to that, he was the biggest guy on stage, the tallest guy on stage, and I'm assuming if he was still in the 290s, he was probably the heaviest guy. Martin Fitzwater, who came in second place, was considerably shorter and lighter than him. But again, I think Martin looked the best we've ever seen him look. He definitely deserved that second place finish, which is significant for him coming in ahead of Steve Kuklo. There were two interviews, one with Andrew and one with his coach, George Farrar, where they both stated that Andrew was obviously not at full strength because the Arnold Classic UK was the planned event and they were still six to seven weeks away from that show. I believe Andrew even said he was 70 or 75% for this Texas Pro, which was against Flex Wheeler in one of the interviews. This wasn't even Andrew's final form, if you could call it that because they wanted him to proceed and enter the Texas show, earn the Olympic qualifying, and then compete in the Arnold Classic UK. And when examining Andrew in this lineup, the only part of his physique that I found to be problematic was his lower body in the back shots. I believe he could have used a little more definition in the glutes and hamstrings, as well as being a little tighter from the back. But from the front, which is where we constantly see Andrew, he is a very dominant, obvious winner. Well, I still believe that he appears somewhat similar to how he does from the front when viewed from the side, but the separation of the legs is somewhat missing in detail. And now that we know this is Andrew at 75% in his own words, I think that he's once more the undisputed champion. Before we talk too much about Andrew, however, I should point out that Kamal Elgarni finished in fourth place and Quentin Beast finished in fifth, making up the rest of the top five at finals. But I believe that Andrew Jack, who had his professional debut here, is the true story. He received a lot of online and social media excitement, as well as a lot of skepticism. But I believe that he shut those doors down. This was a really impressive roster, so it wasn't an easy win for him. Therefore, in terms of the caliber of the competition he faced, he was up against Kamal, a 2-12 Olympian champion who finished in fourth place, as well as Steve Kuklow, a veteran that's won numerous pro shows. This was not a simple lineup, despite the fact that I believe Steve was a little off, and even more off at the finals than he was at prejudging. This was a really strong field. I would even go so far as to say that it was the strongest competition this year since the Arnold Classic 
at least in terms of the caliber of the competitors and the depth of the field. In addition to winning his professional debut, Andrew also won a very strong lineup. And according to one of the interviews with George Farrell, this was only his third event overall. This lineup was the best outside of the Arnold Classic Ohio. I believe this is Andrew's third competition. I know he only started in the past year and a half. I believe his first event was some sort of NPC unaffiliated event. Then he competed in the Arnold Classic Amateur, where he obtained his professional card. After that, he came right here and won his pro debut. Sincerely, I believe Andrew Jacked is a legitimate threat to the top six at the Olympics this year. On September 29th, 2022, Jacked and his trainer, Ken Flex Wheeler, a four-time Arnold Classic champion, discussed the forthcoming 2022 Mr. Olympia during an interview with Olympia judge Tarek L. Gwindi and Bob Ciccarello, Bob Chick, on Olympia TV on YouTube. One of the most important subjects was how Wheeler feels about the approaching tournament, as well as Jack's chances versus two-time defending champion Mamadoua Big Ramy SBI. Jack used to be an unidentified entity. Then, he won his first two IFBB Pro League competitions after receiving his pro card in the 2022 Arnold Classic Amateur in early March. He has progressed through the ranks effectively in such a short period of time despite his lack of experience. Wheeler believes that despite Jack's inexperience in the IFBB Pro League, Jack is a rising star in the bodybuilding world as a result of this performance. Because I was competing back in the Amateur Athletic Union days, I probably participated in over 40 amateur competitions before I even joined the National Physique Committee. As I learned, Wheeler compared his career to Jack's and remarked, I was growing. However, if you look at Andrew Jack, there's only one NPC show. Compare how much he's changed since making his Arnold Amateur debut with how much he's changed since the Texas show. How much has he changed before the Arnold Classic in just a matter of less than or a little bit over two months? Wheeler believes Jack has a crucial advantage over the rest of the field in the Olympia, which also includes SBI, Brandon Curry, Hadi Shupan, Nick Walker, Hunter Labrada, and Derek Lunsford. Less physical wear and tear. Wheeler said he has less miles than any competition he's ever competed against or will ever compete against. Right there, you can see the promise of this young man, because no one, not even I, has accomplished what he has in such a short amount of time. That's really ominous. In addition, Wilder believes there is a chance for Jack to defeat SBI and win the Olympia if the correct conditions arise. The door could be cracked open, notwithstanding SBI's recent staggering 337 pound weigh in at the end of his offseason. As a caveat, Wheeler said, Rami is the one to beat. However, he'll be up against people who are both as tall as him and as muscular. To be polite, I'm going to contend that perhaps Jack has more symmetry and balance than SBI does. Wheeler feels certain that Jack has the skills necessary to become one of bodybuilding's future mainstays, even if he doesn't beat SBI this year, as many were hoping. In the long term, it's anyone's guess whether the rival fulfills that promise. The 2022 Mr. Olympia will be held in Las Vegas, Nevada from December 16th to the 18th. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about these placings and results. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And what will you be expecting from Mr. Olympia 2022? Also, make sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button for more videos to come. That has been Andrew Jacked for you. One of the bets for this year's Mr. Olympia. See you in the next one, folks.